Hi there. Uh, today, we are going to be talking about the Eucharist as gift. Um, so many of you know what a gift is. You've received gifts before. They're wrapped in something shiny, uh, paper with a little bow on it, with a to and from on it. Um, that's a gift. Today, though, I, I want to talk about the Eucharist as a different kind of gift. Um, and I want to use just a little story from my life just to talk about a, a gift that I always really appreciated receiving when I was little. When I was little, my dad would always uh, pick us up from school. Every so often, we would just go and get ice cream. No reason. It was a gift, but we didn't earn it. Uh, we were just coming home from school. We didn't, uh, we didn't pay for it. We, uh, my dad paid for it. I didn't. Um, but we got this as, as just a little reward, a little uh, gesture from my dad to say, hey, we love you guys. Um, and that was just ice cream. It was just a simple gift. Um, and the only way that I could think of responding to it was, thanks, Dad. Yeah, that was tasty, you know. Thanks, thanks for picking us up from school. Thanks for everything that you've given me. And thanks for this ice cream. It's a wonderful gift. Um, and I, th I think whenever we think of the Eucharist, we, we should think of it as a gift. Um, not like ice cream. It's much better than ice cream, which... Think about that for a second. It's better than ice cream. Um, Jesus is that gift that we receive in the Eucharist. Um, and this is something that... Uh, we can't earn. We can't earn Jesus. We can't buy Jesus. Um, but Jesus is someone that we know and love. And so when we receive Jesus as a gift, we're receiving a, a wonderful gift, something that we haven't earned, something that we couldn't buy anywhere, something that we can't make for ourselves. Um, the whole reason that we have the Eucharist is because Jesus loves us so much. Uh, and it's because that Jesus loves us each personally um, that, you know, it's just a gift. It's like, you know, being picked up from school and, you know, God saying, we love you, you know, here's a gift. Um, your life is, you've, you've received a lot of gifts throughout your life, whether it's at Christmas time or at your birthday. Um, but the most meaningful gifts that you'll receive in your life aren't the ones that you unwrap, or they're not the ones sitting under a Christmas tree. Yes, those are wonderful. Those are um, sacrifices from your parents to be able to provide those gifts for you, um, from your friends and family members, whether it's a, you know, a knitted sweater, uh, a pair of socks, or the cool toy you've been wanting. Um, those gifts just don't compare to the ones that you can't unwrap. And if you notice, the Eucharist isn't wrapped up. There's no shiny bow on it. There's um, you know, you don't have to um, only receive it once a year. It's the Eucharist is there for you. Um, and I, I think that we, we take a lot of our gifts for granted. I, I was trying to think, you know, before I did this video, what some of my favorite gifts were. And I kept thinking of all the gifts that, oh, I, I remember getting this when I was little. I was so happy and I left it in the closet all the time. Or I remember getting this gift and I never used it. It's probably still sitting in my room somewhere. Um, and these were things that I just took for granted. And if we think of everything from God as a gift, there's a lot more that we can be thankful for. Um, whether it's just waking up in a bed, you know, there's so many people in the world who don't, don't have a bed. They don't have clean, clean sheets. They don't have clean clothes. Um, and so many of the things that we have received in our lives are, are gifts, you know, from the sacrifices of our parents uh, to provide for us. But more importantly, all of these things are a gift from God. Um, God provides for us uh, in every way in our lives. And the Eucharist is another way that, that God provides for us. Um, but the Eucharist is a very, very special gift. Um, and it's it's special because uh, it's Jesus himself. It's not Jesus giving you something. It's Jesus giving you himself. Um, and he's doing this very humbly. He's, he's, he's showing up in the presence of a little bread host, usually a little white one with a cross on it. Um, and then uh, under the appearance of wine and a chalice. Now we believe after the priest 
prays over uh, the bread and the wine, it becomes the body and blood of Christ. And that's the gift that Jesus is giving to you. And whenever we go up to the Eucharist, we can think about all of the gifts that we've received in our lives. All of these gifts that we may have taken for granted or we may not have realized that the people who gave us those gifts really love us and care for us, whether it's our parents, our friends, or um, or our relative. Um, all of these gifts are, are, are gifts of love. They're straight from the heart. But the gift of the Eucharist is something very unique. It's a, it's a gift from God, especially for you. Um, and, and that gift is like nothing, nothing else you could ever receive. You can't make it. You can't buy it. It's a gift from God that you haven't earned. You know, there's no amount of work you can do to deserve the Eucharist. You don't walk up and say, you know, instead of saying amen, you don't say, well, that one's mine. Give it to me. Um, whenever you walk up, you say, amen, let it happen. This is, I am open to Jesus entering into my heart. That's our approach at the Eucharist. Um, and I think that should be our approach with a lot of things in life. We should have that openness to, to God and uh, let him change our lives, let him enter into our lives um, and just say yes to those gifts and not leave it sitting in our room, but actually use that gift to uh, spread God's love into the rest of the world. So after you watch this video, uh, I want you to take some time to talk about um, either what your favorite gift has ever been um, and also talk about whether you like to give or receive gifts. Um, sometimes it just makes your day to give someone something special that you know they really wanted. Um, so I want you to take a little bit of time to talk about gift giving and what your favorite gifts are. Um, hope this video has been helpful explaining the Eucharist as gift. Um, God love you.